888-253-9242. And email jiggyjagwire at jiggyjagwire.com. Welcome back to our big broadcast. We are live on iHeartRadio, also 50-plus AM FM stations across the country and around the world. Get a hold of us online, jiggyjagwire.com. Download our podcast each and every day at talkshoe.com. We have got a brand new marketing partner we want to tell you about before we get back into the rest of the program here on Transmedia Worldwide. Funds for PTSD Service Dog. Uh, That's right. Go over to GoFundMe.com. G-O-F-U-N-D-M-E dot C-O-M. Search for Carol Lyons. Great fundraiser. She's needing the funds for a PTSD Service Dog. One of the hardest things in the world is to reach out and ask for help. So she is doing that today here on GoFundMe. There is so much stigma surrounding mental health and the ability to do things for oneself. This is one of the hardest things she's ever had to write. She wants everybody to go over and look and give her some of your hard-earned money at G-O-F-U-N-D-M-E dot C-O-M. Search funds for PTSD service dog. Let's help out Kara today. And tell them, you heard about it here. Transmedia Worldwide. Okay, let's get back into it here. Now that we've done all these damn commercials. Uh, it is the world famous Jiggy Jaguar radio broadcast. We are going to go to a, um, a guest here in just a few moments. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I always love sneezing. No wonder Vince McMahon hates sneezing. Good God. So we are going to go to the Memo Crashers. We are going to go to... uh, We're going to play this video called Burn. And then we are going to go to David. Ladies and gentlemen of all ages... We present a world of sex and violence where war rages as humanity peers over the precipice of doom where all blood is shed and no flowers bloom. Come with me to a world where only evil does grow. You are a guest for a terrifying...
Okay. My question is, what the hell did I just watch? <laughs> that is awesome. We are going to go to <laughs> the band that made that song. Holy shit. We are going to go live to uh, to Dave here from the Memo Crashers. They, uh, they just made that video that we just saw. Holy shit. <laughs> Fantastic job, sir. How are you? <laughs> Hi there. I, I'm great. So, and you? pretty good, actually. Tell me about this this music video that we just saw here on our uh, on our big program because that that's a hell of a deal. Oh yeah, it's it's <laughs> most of all it's a hell of a deal for us, you know, because it's uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> I know why you're laughing. <laughs> uh, that was exactly my reaction when I first saw it. But <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Right now, I must say, I, I, I am pretty much done with it, you know. I'm a little bit bored <laughs> because I was seeing this video for almost a year right now <laughs> because we've, we've produced it, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, we shoot the video one year ago, it was May or, or June, I believe. Yes. And all, the, all this time, uh, we, we discussed um, all those scenes with director and tried to, tried to express and choose the best ones and try to set them in, in the right order, you know, in, in order to be to be readable and to be understandable because there was such such a huge material, you know, and, and all, all those five sets, corners on the pentagram, it was so many things going on. It was very hard to compress this just into three minutes. So, yeah, but, but the whole idea, uh, I had to uh, do all the credits and give all the credits to Adam Barker from videoing because uh, once I I created all the burn song and, and we thought that it's gonna be a single because it's, I believe it's one of the best and, and vivid uh, songs from our production and uh, we have totally different concept how to display this as a music video and it was much more polite <laughs> you know it was very mundane and and you know safe way to express ourselves but once Adam showed us this crazy idea of, of the pentagram and all those girls dancing in front of his most powerful and, and hateful <laughs> history villains yes because you have, you've yeah. you've got you've got a little bit of everything in this video you've got uh, you've got Satan you've got what I what what everyone's led to believe to be a Nazi. Uh, you've got... Uh, who, who are some of the other people that are in this video? Uh, <laughs> that's, that's a really good question, because you know, many people uh, um, don't know this Caesar man, which is actually Caligula. Uh, Caligula's Caligula. in it, okay, yes. Yeah. <laughs> And and the second scoundrel is Vlad the Impaler. <laughs> is, is in Vlad the, the Impaler. In the That's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> uh, uh, Maximilien Robespierre is a French revolutionist from from the revo revolutionary France. And and yeah, we have some Nazis there, but <laughs> I wouldn't like to be misunderstood with that. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and 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 I completely understand, you know, that that whole thing because, yeah. <laughs> I, I completely get that whole thing. So I, I, I can totally, you know, defend myself, <laughs> defend myself on this one. Because first of all, this, there was a concept about the burn as as this desire and as this is addictional, addict, sorry, addictive uh, habit you have. This emotion yes. which which rules you as as every human being has it, you know, and one can fight with that better than the other. And and what. All of a sudden, we realize that this is exactly the same feeling all of those menaces have uh, throughout the history, you know. And this is just the re end result when you, where you can end up if you do, if you won't mm, suppress this and fight this and use use this urge and and, and uh, 
even the defense mechanism in your life properly. You know, yes. this, is, this is you. This is you in 50, 30 years if uh, nobody tells you to stop some things you're doing. You know, that that was our main goal to, to present to the audience. Now, now with this video, uh, take me through the the production process. Did you guys basically play the song and? You shot that they shot everything around you, or how, how, how did how did the the shooting for this go? Because this there looks like a heck of a lot of moving parts in this video. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> all, almost all the time we spent was the moving of lights and and resetting the sets to shoot each lady and, and her villain individually. And almost one day we spent filming only the band and, and shots with us, you know, close-ups and, and only band mainly. Yes. But the second day was the main day and the whole crew was there and we were filming, you know, up to 17 or 18 hours straight. And each, each girl um, was separated, you know, to perform in front or behind our, us. With her, with her man. <laughs> yes. And but but in the end, it was almost the midnight, I believe, or after that, uh, there was the man shot. You know, when the pentagram was set on fire, and we were performing uh, all at once in in the circle uh, among the among the flames, and it was so crazy. You know, I I I thought I was gonna die. You know, <laughs> there, there, were, there was flames and smoke everywhere. We were choking ourselves. Well, we, see, we got... I wondered, I wondered just how freaking hot and uncomfortable this was. <laughs> yeah. it, 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 it was, you know. It, we, we, and the best part is, um, our drummer was sent. It was in the center of the pentagram, you know, and, and one of the ropes. Uh, just set on fire. His his carpet was set on fire. So he was, yes. you know, basically starting started on fire. But our bases came up and start to, you know, put the fire down with with his feet and boots <laughs> because we couldn't stop shooting. Because once we once we, uh, we once we ended this video, this all rope was waiting for us, and and it was basically it. If if we if we didn't have this chance, uh, the whole the whole main shot would be would be just ruined, you know. But it yes. was crazy. It was very intense. But probably one of the best experiences in my life I had <laughs> so far. So, so tell me a little bit more about the album uh, that that this song comes from. All right. So, um, "Burn" is the second song from Humanity album, and this is basically our main release right now because this is the second um, second material we've done, second album we recorded. But we have additional one called Revenant, and this was pretty much <laughs> it was supposed to be our first uh, EP, you know. But it it happens to have ten songs, <laughs> and it sounds like long play. But we recorded this three or four years ago, and it it wasn't um, fit our standards, you know. The quality was pretty poor, but we 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 decided to not stick to one CD and just, you know, chewing this over and over because we have so much material to record. So we, we decided to pass on that and re-record the whole, the whole first um, album as an additional bonus to, to, to actual humanity right now. So we're going, we're going to release this as, as a double album. But because, you know, I think the meaning which we try to include in the both of these albums is pretty much the same. It's like a metal, and and the both sides of it is the humanity and, and the revenant. So we just we just feel, felt like it's in, it's one chapter in our career in our life. So it would be very sh shameful to abandon one one thing and release just just the scrap of of, of the whole uh, entity. Yes. You know. Yes. So uh, this this is basically a double album. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what, what, what are some of your plans? Some of your goals for this? Well, as you probably can observe, we're we're not well recognized yet <laughs> because we we're just starting as as a pro band, and it it took us almost six 
seven, six, seven years to prepare everything and, and set every everything to the right motion. So our goal basically is to show us to the people, present ourselves, and I think two albums, <laughs> two albums yeah, it's, it's 20 songs in there, are pretty much good example of who we are and what we represent. So to so burning pentagrams with, with the beautiful ladies and, and villains, it's not only what we have to offer. <laughs> Yes. And yeah, it's it's like a handshake and and hand wave towards the audience to to say hello, who we are, and and let you be the judge. What do you think about that? And if 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 you guys accept it, <laughs> accept us, we'll be able to to pursue our goal. Well, that's fantastic. Well, you guys are pretty amazing. Uh, tell me a little bit about the social media websites where we can get your music, all this stuff. Okay, so so for now we're we're absolutely all night on uh, Facebook. So you can you can just type Memo Crusher or with the only name <laughs> uh, on, on this. So uh, Facebook media, Instagram, but we are not like influencers. <laughs> we just <laughs> it's it just like a side project. But mainly we will be uh, releasing our music on on YouTube, and you can also. Um, here to burn on on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Store, and there, there you have there are pre-orders for for double album, which will be released this autumn. Fantastic. Well, uh, I appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for coming on, talking to us about this music video, talking to us about your double album. Uh, good luck with everything, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Definitely. Have a great day. Definitely. Good luck with everything. Thank you, my man. Okay. There yeah. he goes, David from the band Memo Crusher. And uh, we are going to take a break. And when we come.